Stephanie McMahon, lovely to see you again. Uh, I've heard you talk about Connor being inducted in yes. the Hall of Fame uh, tomorrow night. Yes. Uh, will you be inducting him? I will not be inducting him. Uh, Daniel Bryan was Connor's hero, and Daniel Bryan will be inducting Connor very fittingly into the WWE Hall of Fame. Lovely. Um, and talk to me about WrestleMania. Are you amazed year on year how big the event gets? Because it, it's a, now a week-long event, isn't it? Yeah, WrestleMania has grown so much. I mean, when you consider WrestleMania 1 took place in front of a capacity crowd of 20,000 people at Madison Square Garden and was available on closed-circuit television, and then you fast forward to WrestleMania 31 this Sunday in front of what will hopefully be a capacity crowd of over 70,000 people. And not only is it available on pay-per-view, but also through the WWE Network, the first ever live direct-to-consumer streaming experience. And in over 175 countries, I mean, yes, we keep growing. It keeps getting bigger and it keeps getting more magical for me, quite frankly. Um, growing up, you know, my dad always taught me there are no such thing as boundaries or limits or ceilings. And when you consider that at a very young age, WrestleMania 3, my first, or not my first experience, but my first experience in front of 93,173 people, I mean, being amongst that sea of people really showed me what's possible. So it doesn't surprise me how big we're growing. It's a lot of hard work that goes into it. Um, but I am just absolutely amazed and so overwhelmingly proud year over year. And when it comes to WrestleMania Day, is it a stressful day for the McMahons? What's your dad like backstage? <laughs> um, WrestleMania Day, we just all stay away from my dad. Okay. He has a headset on. I think people kind of throw food at him. And, you know, that's about the way that it goes. Yes, it's very stressful for everyone involved, but particularly my dad. And when you consider WrestleMania was his creation. It was his vision, as is the WWE Network, of course. And to make his baby come to life every year bigger and better and over-delivering on the year before, that's quite a feat. You know, but that's our goal. And thus far, I think we've been able to deliver. Absolutely. And speaking of getting bigger and better every year, obviously WrestleMania 32 next year, uh, yes. AT&T Stadium is going to be right. huge. What dream matches are left? Because that's a big part of WrestleMania, the dream matches. Your husband against Sting this year is going to be amazing. But what about next year? Well, I can just tell you that we've already been thinking about what dream matches will take place at WrestleMania 32 from AT&T Stadium. And um, I'm not going to let on what they are. I think our fans pretty much can tell you what the dream matches are. And like I said before, we always try to deliver. I've just got goosebumps, she's saying that. I'm excited. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank